Hi, Yarna Bees. How are you today? Today, I, oh, wait, let's do it together. Today is going to be a great day. Yes. Um, I'm actually feeling really good. I'm, I'm hyper today. I don't know why. Well, actually, maybe I do know why. The girl next door, she gave me a whole bunch of, um, chocolate covered coffee beans from Trader Joe's. I guess they went down to the States and caught some stuff. I've never had chocolate covered coffee beans in my life. And yeah, I was up until one o'clock in the morning <laughs> and I got up at 6.15 and I've just been go, go, go ever since. So anyways, you know how I was talking to you about the keychain or the earring situation that I got myself into? Yeah, this is just a sample of the, that's just like a little bit so anyways i'm i'm making them into keychains today so i thought i'd show you this is an example of the keychain or these are the earrings can you imagine having these on your ears like no um and then there's like these kind of thing you know like just stuff like just stuff ping pong paddles and <sighs> anyway so this is what I'm doing I've got can you imagine having <laughs> no so I'm making them into keychains and these are functional they actually work so yeah so I'm making those, and then I've got Lego. They, the pieces actually come off the Lego. Just watch, if I try and take these off, they'll go flying and I'll never find them again. So yeah, so I'm doing those. I've got a cue ball and a snooker ball. Snooker? No, pool, pool ball. These are heavy. Do you remember those, um, crack them things that we used to do in school uh they were those heavy balls like this and you'd crack them up and down and you'd have bruises all over yourself and knock yourself in the head and almost you know give yourself a massive concussion yeah see <laughs> that's what these are so anyways i thought keychains i was thinking of um my bestie sandy duda's husband when i made these because he's uh a massive pool player he does competitions and all that kind of stuff uh when i made these i was thinking of angela for my precious yarnery oops <laughs> yeah, little boots <laughs> so i've got those i've got little boba people that like pearl pearl teas uh these ones killed me this one Charlie from Have a Yarn with Charlie. Where the heck is Charlie? Charlie, if you're watching, like, where are you? Ah, oh, so anyways, it's a bowling ball and a pin. Can you imagine having these on? Well, you know. So, yeah, so I made those. I've got lollipops, you know. I've got music notes. Um, you know, stuff like that. I've got little dinosaurs. Right. So, yeah, so I'm making all of these. I'm making themed ones like this one's it's a, oops, a little coffee cup that says cafe. But I've also put, I don't know if you can see it, it's a little Starbucks logo on there. So I kind of put those together to make a keychain. Um, I've got these, oops, these for painters, you know. So yeah, like there's lots of different things. Tennis ball, tennis racket. This is actu an actual, like it's got the, the real fuzzy tennis ball stuff, you know. Um, but yeah, like I've got, I've got tons of stuff. Like I've got different lollipops. I've got these candies, like these are Twix. Oops, hang on. These are Twix candy bars. I've got a ton of these kind of things, like different kinds of candy bars. Um, like I've got the Oreo, Oreo um, cookie things. So I'm going to do like keychains with a bunch of different 
um, cookie or candy things like Lay's potato chips, you know, stuff like that. Um, I've got alcohol bottles, so I'm making up, what is it? There's like um, Bailey's, Jack Daniels, uh, Jameson, you know, stuff like that. So I'm going to make up a, um, a keychain pertaining to that. Uh, oh, and here's a beer mug. A little foam. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've, I've kind of got a grasp on what I'm doing here. But, like, there's stuff here too, like, oops, um, like a pack of crayons. These are like a pencil with a notepad. There's a whole bunch of different ones of this. So I'm thinking for teachers, doing it up keychains for teachers, um, like that. And then there's apples as well. So I figured if I pair them, you know, that maybe. I thought of this. I, I saw these and I was like, this is totally an Angela's husband thing. But they're fire extinguishers and they are heavy. They're metal, right? Her husband's a volunteer firefighter. So, you know, stuff like that. I just thought it's cool, right? Um, like these are, these are from the States, I think. They're the lollipops. Um, what are they called? Choops. Chip, 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 choops. <laughs> Chupo, chupo, chip. Anyway, I'm sure that people in the States know what I'm talking about. Um... But yeah, so I'm just having fun today making keychains and uh, getting ready for the big sale. And anything I find, like like these owl, oops, I know Jeanette's going to go, oh, I want those. These are like owls. I'm going to make those into keychains or into uh, earrings. Um, so yeah, so that's what I'm doing today. Oh, and look, there's little sheep too. Um, do I have one? Yeah, I've got one made already. Whoop. A little sheep and the legs move. <laughs> oh, that was so cute. So, yeah. So I'm just having fun doing that. And hopefully, I can sell them. <sighs> and there's a bee with honey. A little bee with a honey pot and a little spoon. So, I'm definitely going to make those into earrings. Yeah. So anyway, that is what I'm doing. Oh, there's some elephants. Metal elephants. Oops. So, yeah. So I'm having fun. It's a hot, sunny day today. Today I think it's supposed to get up to like 30 or 32 or something. So I left Bailey at home. She was not happy with me. The dog walker's not happy with me. But you know what? I'm not going to have her out there walking around on the hot pavement. So... Okay, so I guess I will talk to you guys later. Hello, yarn of bees. Oh, how are you today? Um, okay, so <laughs> there we go. Fun fact about three doors down from my shop, there is a little place that is like a Hansel and Gretel candy shop. Now, I keep seeing, i put my windows up a little bit, it's gonna be hot, but, um, I keep seeing little kids bringing in these little mystery boxes full of candy. And I'm like, okay, you know, my sister even said, you know, oh, you gotta go into this shop, it's really cool. And I just never got to do it. I think I was more afraid that if I went in there, I was going to buy out the store because I am a sucker for candy, like like old school candy and uh, stuff like that. So I thought, well, okay. I went over to the British store and I went and talked to my buddy, my, my buddy Steve, my mush, um, which is really kind of funny because when I met Steve, I couldn't stand him. And I was complaining about him on my channel. And now he's like a really good friend. So anyway, um, I went and saw him. And he loaded me up with British potatoes.
potato chips. Oh, sorry, crisps. Can't say chips. They're crisps. <laughs> and I'm like, you do realize I'm trying to lose weight. He, he's basically saying, you know, if you don't eat them, I will, and I can't have that because you know, <laughs> I'm going to gain too much weight. I'm like, oh, great. So, okay. So he gave me like one of every kind of chip crisp that they had. Oh, I was just like, wow, okay. So then I went next door to them to this Hansel and Gretel shop. It's really cute in there. It is, they, the way they've done it is really adorable and um, they've been around for years and years. And uh, I can tell what they did was they basically just bought the candy in bulk and then just put it in little bags and put a little sign beside it. It's all about the witch, you know. Um, so <laughs> the, then they named the candies different things pertaining to like a Hansel and Gretel kind of thing, witchy kind of thing, which is really, really neat. And they have this handmade... Um, it looks like it could be like a fireplace, but it looks like a tree. And I, I just happened to go over there. God, my tire sounds weird. I just, I went over there and I was like, what's this? And they had bottles there. And I thought, hmm, that's interesting. I freaked out out when I actually found out what it was. They had Harry Potter stuff in there. Harry Potter candy. Butter, beer, everything. And the bottles is butter beer. <laughs> Non-alcoholic, of course. But it's butter beer. Oh, I was just, I freaked out. I had to buy two and I'm gonna get me and George to try them on camera um, and see what they're all about because I just, I, I lost my mind. They had other uh, Harry Potter stuff. They just got in, they just got this stuff in and um, it's expensive stuff though and it's just little things of candy, you know, but yeah, I was like, wow, that's really cool. But anyway, so, uh, yeah, when, when we get home and George gets home, I'll get him to try it with me on camera. Okay? Okay. Good morning. You're, you're in a bees. How are you today? Uh, off to work we go. I am so exhausted. Oh, I'm probably going to be yawning throughout this part of the video. I'm so sorry. I'm in the process of working on a big order for, well, for, for me it's a big order, uh, for the Visitor Center of Shemanus uh, to do some products for their, um, oh damn it, and the ferry just came in, it's going to take me forever to get through here, um, so yeah, they had a big order that they wanted me to um, to do for them for uh, what's in my eye for uh, mugs and keychains, shot glasses, uh, possibly lip balm holders, stuff like that. So, ugh. Um, so yeah, and I, I told them it was a 20 minute, 20 piece minimum per, per thing, per uh, item. So I was up late last night. Excuse me, I got home from work yesterday and I worked straight through until one o'clock in the morning getting stuff done. I haven't got the full order done. I've just got the keychains and the uh, shot glasses done. I'm waiting for my mugs to show up. Um, yeah, and then we're gonna kind of go from there. But ugh, I woke up today a little bit early because I 
today is the car show in Shimanis and they are going to be taking up a few of the streets. They're going to be closing them down for the car show um, because the cars are going to be, I can't close this here, the cars are going to be parked all along our streets. So <clears throat> um, I got to get there a little bit early so that I can get a parking spot. <laughs> I won't be able to park in town, uh, so I'm going to have to park out, out a couple blocks and then walk, but good times. So anyway, um, but let's do it together. You ready? Today, woo, today is going to be a great day. Today is going to be everything that you need it to be. I need it to be a really profitable day. <laughs> uh, I need lots of customers to come in from the car show and buy what I have to offer. Um, yeah. So, I, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm so tired, you guys. I'm so sorry. I can't even think straight right now. Oh, excuse me. I haven't even taken a picture of the stuff that I made for them. Oh, I did take one one picture. Uh, it's kind of a small, small pit. Well, I'll put it here anyway, if I can find it. So, <clears throat> um, they wanted car coasters. And the car coasters that I ordered were big. They were, like, a lot bigger than the ones that I have in my in my store because the ones in my store are for the car the coasters I ordered she wanted just regular coasters so I ordered those and they didn't want them I did up a sample and now I'm going great and I'm stuck with all these freaking coasters so <clears throat> but that's okay because they instead want something else. So hopefully that'll be the money. So, yeah. But yeah. Um, so I'm going to get my coffee and my yogurt at Tim Hortons. I got my co-pilot with me, but she's like, she's passed out here. Um, yeah, and then we're going to gonna have a good day. I'm gonna go and make some more keychains. I'll maybe show you some of those keychains. It's gonna be interesting. <laughs> so anyway, okay, I uh, will talk to you in a bit. Hello. So I'm sitting here considering, excuse me, considering there's a lot of people outside. Oh. Okay, so the gaggle of teenage uh, little girls, young girls, 12-ish, just came in. <laughs> so, looking at all the things that they can't afford. But anyways, I'm sitting here, uh, considering there's a lot of people outside looking at cars, not so many shoppers. So, I'm s sitting here making what I thought was a baby dress. But it seems awfully small. I mean, it's like newborn size. But, like, that's how big it is right now. And then I started thinking. I wonder if I should start making doll clothes. Is there a big market for that? Like, I don't know anything about them. But Pamela from Adoring Crochet? Did I get that right? Um, she has lots of patterns and stuff for doll clothes. Hi. And I thought, you know, I wonder, because I know there's like the American doll or something. And, um, you know, the baby clothes that I have in here, like the dresses and stuff. I don't have a lot of them in here, but... Um, a lot of kids they'll come in and they'll think that they're for dolls. No. <laughs> so I thought, well, 
I wonder if I made some doll clothes if they would actually sell. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Because I have no clue. I don't know. Is, is there a market for it? I don't know. Maybe there's an online market for it. Like if I put, if I made them in, and put them on Etsy or something. I have no idea. I, that's that's an area that I have never explored. So yeah, I don't know. What do you think? This I'm making out of the co uh, coconut cake. So yeah. Because I was making it for a baby, I thought, well, cotton, you know, ought to be okay. But, you know, now I'm thinking maybe doll clothes. Let me know what you think, guys. Not like I don't have enough to do, right? But, I don't know. I'm just thinking of different avenues. Doll clothes would be fast and easy to make. So, I don't know. Tell me what you think. Hi, bumblebees. How are you today? Yeah, let's try that again. So, I finished this little dress that I was making. I think it's going to pretty much be a doll dress. <laughs> because I just, I didn't want to do any more. So, here it is. It's like this. And, uh, yeah, I just got to the point where I was just bored of it. And... Uh, just wanted to be done with it. I think it's because the yarn is so fine, fine. You know, it's like a three weight. I hate three weight. So, but it's cute, right? It's got the little points or whatever. I mean, it's meant to be a newborn, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> so I finished that. But my thought was, what if you did this part in an adult size so if you did the band did this whole thing for an adult and then did this on the bottom because my problem is is because I've got such big boobs and I've got a tummy I can never find a top that fits me properly but an a-frame like this kind of a style the a-frame style uh, always fits me really nicely and it's quite flattering so I thought what if I made a top out of that like that I've never done it before and I would have to try and figure it all out but I was thinking because I've got this uh, this is the blossom cake in what color color is Caribbean Sea. I've got two of these. That should be enough, I would think. Um, but yeah, like I'm thinking, maybe I'm going to try that. And uh, yeah. But what do you guys think? I think I think that would look kind of cool. I th it would be nice for summer too, right? And you could wear it with shorts or pants or um, capris. You could pretty much wear it with anything, right? Uh, but yeah, so, I mean, this stitch, this kind of a stitch, I thought this stitch was going to be hard. I thought it was going to be really confusing. But once you figure it out, you're just increasing by one every time, and it just automatically increases. So I'm hoping... That it's all going to turn out. Don't know if I'm going to do a tutorial on it, but now that I have the concept down, I just have to figure out how to do the yoke and figure out how big I need the yoke. Um, yeah. And then, I mean, the, the thing is too, is I think it's this part here where this starts I think it has to be multiples of three or something because you you do the stitch and then you skip two and then you do the next stitch 
So I think I would have to do make sure that it would be multiples of three by the time. Yeah, I don't, I'm really bad at that kind of stuff, like figuring out all that kind of stuff. So, hi. Hi. Um, yeah, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I may need your guys' help. <laughs> I have a migraine today. Oh, man. Whew. I'm going to go to the chiropractor on Friday. I'm going to go to my regular chiropractor and see if he can't do something because the chiropractor that I've been seeing has not been doing anything for me. If anything, it's been worse. So I'm going to go and see if my regular chiropractor can fix me because I've had a migraine for two days. Well, I've had a migraine since February, I think. <laughs> yeah so anyway today's monday and usually everything in town is closed on mondays so i was kind of hoping that i would get some good sales today because i'd be one of the rare rare people that's open so far it's hasn't been wonderful but that's okay that's okay okay i'm gonna go and I guess I will talk to you guys later. Love you. Okay. Bye. Good morning, Yarna Bees. How are you today? <sighs> today, I'm not going to be my usual jovial self. I'm not feeling quite right. Uh, <clears throat> I ended up in the hospital yesterday. And I ha I've had migraine for the last few days. Ah, stop. Hang on. Back up, baby. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I've had a, had a migraine for a couple of days and I spoke to the pharmacist and she said that I should go to the hospital and get checked out because the medication, the new blood thinners that I'm on, um, I think they've affected a little bit, but she wanted to make sure that I didn't have a brain bleed or something. So I took the day off work and I went in and I spent eight hours at the hospital. They did a scan um, on my head and they didn't find anything. No brain, no nothing. <laughs> But, no, they, they didn't find anything, um, which was good, but still doesn't explain what's happening with me. So, um, I started, started telling her about what the chiropractor had said to me about the tightness in my scalp and that my jaw was off a little bit. And she said, you know, this could be TMJ related. And I thought, really? She says, yeah, your, your, your hearing problems, everything. Um, all of that is, that could be TMJ. And I thought, really? So she said that she was gonna give you a prescription for a muscle relaxer kind of thing and an anti-inflammatory. They, they, they gave me a steroid shot. They had me on an IV. They gave me a steroid injection and um, sent me home with a prescription for an anti-inflammatory kind of thing to try and get the muscles and everything to relax. And um, they gave me something for nausea as well. And by the time I went to leave the hospital and because of my blood thinners, stupid me, I had the IV right in the vein there, obviously. And I put my bag on that arm and I popped open the vein. As I'm walking out of the hospital, blood everywhere. I was like, I was on the phone with George at the at the time, so I'm trying to I'm talk on the phone. I have my bag and like I had to take my crochet right. <laughs> so 
blood all over the place, all over me, all over my keys, my phone, all over the floor. They come running over to help me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was so stupid, but I wasn't exactly thinking at that moment. So yeah, <clears throat> so I left the hospital, went home, took one of these pills um, that they gave me. They said it could make me drowsy. So I thought they wanted me to take it three times a day. I says, I can't do that. If it makes me drowsy, then I got to take one at night because I got to work, right? I got to drive and I got to work. So I took one. <laughs> at first I was fine. And I went to bed at seven. I think I went to bed at seven. Um, I was just, I was so tired from the day, the day's activities. And, um, I woke up at about 1130 to go to the bathroom and I could barely make it down the hall. I was so out of it. I thought, wow. Okay. And then I started throwing up and I kept throwing up and until about 4.30 in the morning. I, every time, like I was really dehydrated too, which is weird because they put a whole thing of, of water in me. And uh, I just felt like I needed to drink a lot, and that's probably from the medication. And <clears throat> every time I tried to drink something, it, it came up again. So I didn't get much sleep. And then George got up out of bed at around 4.30. And at that point, it was starting to settle down. And I got about an hour and a half sleep. So I got to go to work. Because I think that there, there's a native guy that came in. Indigenous, sorry. An indigenous fellow that came in. Um, and ordered a whole bunch of stuff. And... He's probably going to come in today because it's payday uh, and give me rent, the money for my rent, right? So, um, my sister is going to come over to my place tonight and help me get things organized at the house because I got a whole bunch of Amazon boxes and everything. The room that I'm working in is a total disaster because I go in there, I do what I got to do, and I've got stuff strewn all over the place, and then I leave because I got to go to work, right? So I haven't had time to get my house in order and get my room in order. It's total chaos. Um, this working six days a week, it's ridiculous because I can't, I don't have time to do anything. And we've got that um, um, show coming up on the 6th. And I have no time to make stock. So my sister's going to come and help me. I'm going to leave early today. Hopefully that guy comes today and pays me. And then I can go home and start making stuff. Because I still have a crap ton of orders to do for the visitor center. My sister is going to be a big help for me. She usually always is. But I'm just, I'm out of it. I'm just, my brain's just not functioning right now. So, wait a minute. Uh, I have a couple pictures of me in the hospital. This one is of um, Ivan. This is Ivan. He was my date for yesterday. <laughs> He's a little skinny. He needs a couple of uh, good meals, I think. So, <laughs> the nurse and I, we were joking around about Ivan. You know, and he'd, like, start beaking. And she'd come over and she says, Are you being mean to Ivan? And I says, No. I says, I'm trying my best. The date was going very well, but, you know, I guess he was a little finicky. I didn't like that. <laughs> so, she says, you got to remember to rub his belly. You know, I'm like, rub his belly? That wasn't in the contract. 
<laughs> and then she goes to move me to another room that has a more comfortable chair. And she says, now don't get jealous. I gotta wrap my arms around Ivan. <laughs> I says, I'm sure he has love for both of us. <laughs> it was quite funny. So, uh, anyway. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna go now. I'm probably, this will probably be the end of the video that I do. <clears throat> um, if I can't fit this one into my other video, then this will be a new video. I don't know. I'll figure it out. <laughs> so, if this is the, is the end of the other video, then I will sign off. I love you all. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to do all the things. Subscribing and all that stuff. Don't forget that I have a um, membership. Uh, the link, the button is down below. <sighs> and I'm trying really hard, you guys. I have, oh, I have a new project. Yeah, you can thank Jeanette from Miss Hootie Hoot and Crafts for that one. Her link is always down below, too. Yeah, I'll have to show that to you later. I'm working on it right now. Hoping it's going to work out. If it does, I might do a tutorial. I don't know if I have time. <laughs> oh, good lord. Anyway, okay, I love you all. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Oh my god, a rock just hit my window. Did you hear that? Jeez. <laughs>